Thank you, sir. We have been confronted with a situation. I've been trying to reach my wife all day. What? What happened? My daughter is getting married! Everybody, get in! Wait, bro. Have you, have you met my mother-in-law? Somebody else to do. Papa, I don't have my money. <laughs> You want to use your own hand to create problems with yourself, Abby? Take your position, everyone! This is not the truth. Excuse me, why are you shouting? This is a hospital, not a prison! We're going to get out of this place! This is a problem! Yeah, so you won't die! Oh! So you want to die! Me, I need to go. I need to go! This hospital is under lockdown. So why are we locked here? You keep our blood money. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is the first time you're coming to my channel. You are welcome. My name is Ali Madi Bird, and yeah, I do a lot of movie conversation, movie reviews, lifestyle vlogs, and you get to know me better. So this is the content I brought you to my channel. Be rest assured, this is not the only kind of content i give out so you can check out my other videos and if you know you're a regular subscriber already thank you for sticking with me and thank you for coming back as the title already says today i'm going to be doing a review of a 2021 movie lockdown that just got released to netflix like some days ago i guess yeah so i mean lockdown as the name implies everybody would think oh it's about covid19 the old covid19 breakout and whatnot but yeah i'm supposed i'm here to give you a shocker but before we get right into the video, please click the subscribe button. I mean, you're already here, so just click the subscribe button. I'm pretty sure you're going to enjoy most of my content. Give this video a thumbs up because you're definitely going to like it. Drop a comment below. Tell me what you think about this video and any of my videos that you, you, you're watching again. Tell me what you think about them. And please share this video because I'm sure it's going to be helpful. Okay. So today, let's talk about Lockdown. So Lockdown is a movie by Moses Inwang. It talks about, shockingly, Ebola virus. I know, we know that there have been two viral virus breakouts in Nigeria. We have the Ebola virus and we have the COVID-19, you know, virus that recently just happened in 2020. And I mean, looking at how the movie played out, one would think that this movie was majorly about COVID-19. But as the writer says, he said it's about, you know, Ebola virus. And I mean, we've seen a movie about Ebola virus before, which is 93, 93 or 97 days. Something around, I think it's 93 days. Yeah, 93 days. We talked about the Ebola virus, the breakout, and how it was contained. And I was expecting that this would be about COVID-19. But I kind of feel like, you know, it is just like a balance between both, you know, uh, what would I call it now? Both viruses. They, they try to, you know, not forget about Ebola and bring it into covid because this one feels more like covid but anyway let's just get right into what the movie is all about if it did what it was sent out to do if it delivered what and what were put in place that made this movie you know a good movie or a bad movie so sit back grab a popcorn and let's get on this right so the story is about different people from different first of life that found us found themselves locked up in the hospital on this particular day now, this was how we started. They showed us different people. They showed us in the Maokoje. She had a thing going on. You know, she was living her life. She had a job interview. And somehow she needed a medical report and she had to come down to the hospital. They showed us the call and one who is a womanizer, forgot about his wife. His wife had, you know, um, a pregnancy complication and had to rush to the hospital. And when he found out in the morning, he had to rush to the hospital where his wife was. They showed us. Uh, just too funny who had won a lottery super excited he and his father start jumping yada 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 and his hand cuts his hand hits the fan he has a cut and he has to go to the hospital then there is also tony omez who is a dispatch rider he works for a delivery or logistic company and now he has to go and deliver a package to a doctor in that hospital and then there's this groom what's his name now i've forgotten there's this groom and judy kenner was his friend they both, you know, were going for his wedding. So it was his court wedding. 
and then there's a eat and run that happens right in front of them and the groom says oh let's help this girl yada 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 and that's how they take the girl to the hospital and they end up in the hospital now Dayami was not in the hospital as at the time oh and also there is um Chioma Akota, Chioma Chiko, yeah, Chioma Akota, that's what she's called now. I keep forgetting all these names of time. Chioma Akota, who is a nurse in this hospital where the breakout happens. And, you know, she's not supposed to be on shift, but the other nurse begged her to take her shift, so she's going to take her exam, yada, yada, yada. And somehow, Chioma is also in the hospital when this happens. And then the person that brings all these people, the person that brings the virus just came down from the plane. He's, he has come for a business meeting in Nigeria. He has come from Liberia. And, you know, um, he tells his driver to rush him down to the hospital because he's been coughing, doesn't know what's wrong with him. He thinks it's a, it's a fever. And when he gets into the hospital, you know, he starts coughing, yada, yada. And then they find out that he has been infected with, they called it the olovirus in the movie. Now, when this happens, um, Omotala Jalade Kende is the doctor in this movie. You know, she has made contact with this person and she's like, this is a very deadly virus. How are they going to make sure that this doesn't get out to everybody and, you know, they save millions of people? The first thing they do is lock down the hospital, she contacted the NCDC. Okay, this is going to happen. The police is everywhere. They're saying no going out, no coming into the hospital. And here, they're, they're, trying, to, they're trying to contain the whole incident. So, and then we see some people trying to, some of the, you know, victims, would I say, they try to get out of because they're like, I have, I, this one is saying, I'm supposed to be at my wedding right now. This one is saying, I'm supposed to go and cash out 10 million. They're saying, I have a job interview. Tony Imez is saying, I'm supposed to go and take care of my sick wife. I just came to do a delivery here. And Choma is like, who tell me to even collect this shit because of how much? Eh? So, like, everybody is making their own complaints. And everybody's looking for a way to survive. They try to run away. Police are like they're going to shoot them on sight. You know, they try to get used to this new life because they have to be quarantined for 21 days. And like that's how the old story goes, you know. I mean, it's more like a true life story, right? It's more like what we've experienced. It's like our reality. So, yeah, I mean, there's there isn't really much. I like the fuse of, you know, a little bit of romance they put in there. Um, I like the victory at last kind of story they made it. But yeah, I do have my reservations about a few things. But before I go into my reservations, let me say some things that I totally enjoyed about this movie. So first of all, I liked the, like the beginning of the movie, the way they were showing us each and every character and their backstory. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a sucker for backstories. Don't give me one person and you just expect me to just go with it. No, I want to know what their life looks like. Yet. So yeah, I did enjoy you know that part of it. The way they showed us in Edema's story, each and every one of them basically told us their story and how they all ended up in the hospital. Um, I liked the fact that you know the scenes were contained. When I mean contained, I mean like... Um, it's not like they, they use the I mean, so it's mostly in an hospital. The old movie was in front of the hospital, within the hospital, and they just the beginning that they had to use like different locations. And okay, then Sonny's house that he showed quite a number of times. Yeah, so that was it. Like the it wasn't it wasn't a lot. You know, this is supposed to be a breakout of, of a particular virus and whatnot. So yeah, I like that the scenes were contained. The cinematography was, you know, it was okay. It wasn't bad. It wasn't like extra, but it was good. The dialogue. I think the dialogues were a lot. Um, I think it could have been reduced. But yeah, they were not bad. Like they had like reasonable conversations. It wasn't like they were just talking out of script. But I think they could have been reduced. They were not bad. The characters, I think they, they you know, they did really well. I liked Josh Tufani in the movie because... I was I was thinking that what we just too funny in the movie, it would just give us this normal, just too funny kind of vibe. But yeah, it was, you know, it was different. Now he was an actor, and you know, we saw him in a different like I liked and it was still funny. That's the good thing. It was still very funny. Like anytime I'm like, oh Sonny, please. But I mean, yeah, it was funny. Um Bam Bam was also in the movie. She acted as DME's wife. And you know, she was this emotional, downcast kind of person. And I liked, I don't know, I liked her character in the movie. She didn't really get to say much, but you know, each and every time she came on screen, she did well. Um, who else was in the movie that stood out for me? 
I didn't really like Motella's, um, you know, uh, what would I call I didn't really like her performance. I think she could have done better considering the fact that she was given like a major role because she was a doctor in the movie. I think she could have done better, but you know, it wasn't so bad. Uh, in Edema, I mean, most I feel like most of these people they didn't really have to go through so much character development. It was just like they just had to stay in quarantine and you know get out of it at the end of it all. So yeah, the character didn't really have so much to do, but with the little they had to do, they did well. Yeah. Um, what else? Oh, one thing I liked was the switch of emotions. I mean, for Jola um, Omotola, she had to be a doctor to you know the patient to the people, and indoors she could break down and you know just be herself. I liked that. I like the Emmy's growth from being this womanizer to becoming someone that you know cherishes his wife and all of that. Um, who else? Um, Tony Umez. I think he was just being emotional all through the movie. So yeah, there wasn't really so much you know different. But yeah, he was good in the movie. Ada Ada me me so rest in peace. Me so rest in perfect peace. She was also in the movie. She had like two or I think two scenes. Yeah, the scene where she was talking to Tony Umez because she's like the receptionist or whatever, secretary in the dispatch company works. And, you know, and the scene where she realizes that he got stuck in the hospital because of her because she made sure that he did that delivery that morning. So, yeah, Ada Ahmed was in the movie. And, I mean, those two or three times that she came on, she was good, you know. She gave us a performance that we liked. Uh, who else was in this movie that I think did really well? I can't remember. But, yeah, that's like basically what all the movie is about oh shola shobo wale yes how could i forget shola shobo was also in the movie and she was the normal african dramatic mother that she has always been in all this movie she's always screaming about yeah uh, all of that kind of thing she was still the same person in this movie even though i feel like she was overdoing it you know but yeah she was still the same also the man who acted the inspector general or whatever that was in charge of the operation basically i feel like he bodied his role like he didn't have to talk so much but his appearance his charisma everything was speaking military it was giving like authoritative vibe and i i think that was even my favorite character honestly he was very authoritative he was stand like his voice was stern it was mm. I don't have the words, but you get what I'm trying to say, yeah? So, yeah, that is that. Now, some of the things I did not like in this movie, number one, it has to be the fact that they were struggling with the name of the hospital they were in. So, now, outside the hospital, it shows Reddington Lakey Hospital. While um, anybody's on the phone, be it the doctor or whatever, they are saying one, Cal one Calvary Hospital, or is it? something calvary hospital and i'm like so when i first heard um what's her name Omotola say the one i went i went back to check the name of the hospital i saw i'm like this is red in tab it's not the same hospital is that like a mistake yeah and then it happened again and again and again i'm like okay y'all don't know what you're doing because i don't get it like why why are you doing that but yeah that's one thing another thing is the fact that i mean throughout the movie apart from the part where the ncdc were coming in and you know where they gave the ME mask and all of them none of them were using masks Omatala, who is supposed to be the doctor wasn't using a mask even i mean the first when she when she realized what the virus was and she was even going to see the patient i expected naturally she would wear a mask or she would be fully bodied in like you know a protective suit or whatever because she knows what she was going to be on meat so like getting infected i feel like it was more of a fault that she got infected in the first place because you could have taken preventive measures you knew i mean i feel like that's the whole point of being a doctor right so yeah they did not really you know dig deep into the old medical line thing they were just they were nonchalant about that part of the movie even while they were in the hospital, I mean, you feel like some of these people are already infected. Some of these people might not be infected. Everybody, all the patients, all the people that are locked in, they should be using masks. The pregnant wife should use masks. Our husband should use masks. Um, Josh, too funny. Everybody that they were locked in the same way together, they should all use masks. So even if one person is infected and another person is not, 
within the time that they are spending together, another person could get infected. But if you are saying nobody should use my, is that nobody is infected, or if one person is there, everybody is infected? Like, I did not get that part of the movie. So, yeah, that's another thing that it was just about the movie. <laughs> um what else so another thing i think was a bit mm, for me was the setting between sonny's house and the hospital we went to now i do not want to assume but i feel like um you know that ghetto-ish kind of place you cannot find it in lekki right so why would anybody go so far from wherever they stay to a hospital in lekki i don't know but yeah i mean it was just to make the story correlate you had to be somebody from the hood and all of that but yeah i just felt like they could have used you know somewhere like really so maybe mentioned an actual place you know that would make it look more original and you know i don't maybe more convincing maybe for me sha because i felt like where is sunny living that you are going all the way to lekki just to get and if there's no hospital around you know <laughs> But yeah that's another thing that i just felt was a bit off another thing was maybe the soundtrack it wasn't there weren't so many soundtracks in the movie i think and for a movie that's supposed to purge people of so many emotions i think there was supposed to be a lot of like <laughs> yeah i mean there was supposed to be a lot of you know sad moments like when um you know amatala felt like she had contacted the virus where um you know where Chioma was sad. Chioma Kuta was sad. Like a lot of sad, sad points. When the the bride left the groom and said she's no longer interested in a relationship. You know, all those little little things, just chip it in. When Tony Umez was sad about when he was remembering his wife and all of that, just chip them in. Just chip those sad soundtracks in somewhere. You know, it makes sense, but they didn't do that. Well, I feel like. This movie didn't need so much effort and so much storytelling because of the kind of movie it is. You know, it is a true life story. Not not true life. It's fictional, but you know, it's an experience that we have lived. So it's easy to just write the story. I mean, it's not easy. It's not an easy job. I know it's not an easy job. I'm just saying, like, it didn't need so much racking. You get me? But yeah. I think it was a good story. The story was okay. I enjoyed the movie. I can't lie. I enjoyed the movie. And I think the characters, they did pretty good. Um, yeah, apart from those things that I mentioned, I think the movie was a great watch. If you have time, you should check it out. It's on Netflix now. I think it's number one or number two when I watched it, which was like two days ago or yesterday. I don't even know when I watched it again. But yeah, the movie is a, it's a good watch. You, I think I already like a six. 6, 6.5, somewhere in between. I think 6 is fair. 6 should be fair, guys. Yeah, so I think I'll rate it a 6. If you do have time, you should check out Lockdown. You know, maybe you remember some things. Sorry. Maybe you remember some things that happened during COVID that you want to relieve. I mean, COVID or Ebola, because, I mean, it's a mixture of both. Yeah, guys. So, I think this is the end of my review. Please do give this video a thumbs up. Check out my other videos. And you know, subscribe to my channel, guys. And I wanted to do a review on my village because I just finished watching my village people today. And honestly, I wanted to do a review. Would you guys like to see a review on it? I don't know if I should because I have a lot to say. <laughs> I have a lot to say about that movie, but I'm still contemplating doing it. If you'd like to see a review on it, please tell me in the comment section below. I will post it next, considering that you want to see a review. But yeah, bye guys, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Please share this video to your friends, your family, and every movie lover that you know. Bye guys.